Hey everybody, welcome back to your beginner course on Bitcoin and crypto trading. I'm Caleb. This video we are going to be talking about the order book. What is the order book? It's this thing over here with all these numbers that are regularly changing. The goal of this video is to understand what is going on with these lists. Well, the way trading works is that you put a buy offer or a sell offer. And whenever you do that, it's added to this list here. The green numbers are the buy orders from anyone who's currently trading at this time. The red are the sell orders. And the way you should think about it is that these numbers push towards this way and the green numbers push towards this way until they meet in the middle. So if I zoom in here, you can see that this number, 9188.10, is so close to 9188.09. And the numbers always change, so I might have got the numbers off just a little bit by the time I finish the sentence. But the point is, the, the numbers meet in the middle to an agreed upon price. So in order for someone to buy Bitcoin here, this bid has to be higher than this ask. And I believe once that happens, that's when a new Bitcoin price is determined. Every time there is an agreed upon price, there's a trade, and then the price is updated. And you can see that price also over here on the right in the trade history. So the most recent trade was for 918471. That's the same price you're going to see over here on the left between these two sections. And you're also going to see it up here on the last price at the top. So let's try to get one of our offers to show up on this list. Just to start off, let's just go with a super low price. We're just going to do $8,000 per Bitcoin and we're going to do $11 worth and we're going to hit buy. And that limit buy order was created and it's added to our list down here. But no matter how hard we look at this order book, we're not going to see our order because it's not close enough to the current price. So what I want to do instead is I want to cancel this and try to get as close as possible to this price right here. So to do that, you can type it in manually. So you could just say 9184.71 or what you can do is you could click one of these other offers to copy that number. So let's go ahead and copy this one, like the second one here, for example, 9186.96. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do $11 worth and hit buy. And that one actually went through because the price went down as we were placing that buy order. So let's try it again. Let's go with another number, 9183.71. That's good. And we'll do $11 worth and hit buy. And look at that, over there is our order. It has a little triangle right beside it. And you can see that we're currently third in position, second in position, and it's kind of jumping up and down. So our order is currently not going to be met because there are other people willing to pay higher. Oh, right now we're currently the highest bidder. So if one of the asks is willing to take this price, the order will be met. But currently the gap is just too big. So let's wait it out and see if this order gets fulfilled so we can see what happens. So I'm gonna zoom out here and you can see it down on our open orders. Once this goes through, it should go off of our open orders and it should appear inside of the trade history. Oh, hey, it was fulfilled. Check it out. All right, so our open orders, it disappeared and we should be able to see it over in this trade history as well as down here. We can see what we offered. 918371, 918371, that's our offer right there. We can do the same thing with selling Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and make a sell offer. I'm going to put one in there and we are currently right here in the queue. So this price 9184 is just a little bit higher than what we bought it for at 918371. So if this goes through, then we will have made a profit. Now we're working with numbers so small, just $11, that it's really not even gonna be practically anything at all. However, the principle will stay true, even if you're working with larger numbers. This is very hard though, as you may have noticed, because in the time it took my buy to be met, 
and for me to place a sell offer, the price has dropped quite significantly. So in order for us to make a profit from just those two trades, the price is going to have to go back up above 9184, which may take all day, who knows? It could never go up that high. More than likely, it will eventually be met though if I leave this on here long enough. Now you don't have to just buy and then sell. You can do both at the same time as long as you know what you're willing to pay for it. So I can place a buy in here for 9170. Place that and that's going to be waiting just in case the price does drop that low. So right now we've just been working with the limit option. We've talked about the market price, which I'm probably not gonna use a whole lot, but we haven't talked about the stop limit and I think that's what we're gonna talk about in the next video. So stay tuned and please be sure to subscribe if this was helpful, just to help you understand bids and asks. See you guys in the next video.